Oh look, it's raining. First rain, and actually very welcome. It's really humid. And this morning, when I got to my bike before I packed it, I had this on my seat from the guy next door, Jace, who's a biker, with a lovely note to say, if ever I need accommodation in Lennox Head or anything, uh, surfboard, rental, pickup, if I break down. Oh, just such a lovely guy. So um, I will see where I can put this on my bike and ride with it. Yeah, the hibiscus is coming with me. After the lovely surprise, I headed south following the coastal road in search of a good coffee. <laughs> After fueling up on coffee and petrol, I headed south towards Grafton on the Australian's M1, which is not what you think, but it was a rather boring ride. Luckily, the boring road didn't last too long. I soon found some interesting twisties and even some gravel, finally. Cute little town, rural. Um, this is obviously the town hall. Um, it's hot, and I've had so far one of the most boring rides at the start of the day for nearly a couple of hours. I would say it's like a motorway run, but it wasn't because it's obviously Australia, and there's just more to see in terms of vegetation. It's a um, two-lane, two-way traffic road. Um, with nobody on it. I saw this animal cross the road which looked like a lizard or a crocodile. <laughs> Probably not a croc, but it was a lizard. But it was half the size of a single lane. So it's quite big and it just ran across really quick. Unfortunately, typically, my camera wasn't running at the time. Um, I saw two wallabies yesterday playing by the side of the road. I uh, I think it's finally sunk in that and I'm in Australia on a bike on my own. I'm bloody loving it. The, um, the backpack with a water bladder is a lifesaver. I really would have, I don't know how I'd do it. I just keep sipping on it. It's keeping me hydrated. I'm not eating very much because I'm just too bloody hot. And uh, <laughs> yeah, everywhere I stop where there are people, I find a biker that is super friendly, wants to sh help out or, you know, show me best places, where to go, um, what to do. But bikers on a road don't say hello. They just ride past. So there's me waving like an idiot and they're just ignoring me. Or maybe it's just me. Anyway, from here on, I'm going to have a bit of fun now. The roads are windy and I found, I think, um, there's a bit of gravel that runs alongside of the road I'm on and I've spoken to a guy I met this morning in a cafe as a biker and uh, big fuck off logging tracks. Tracks? Trucks. <laughs> um, yeah, uh, he reckons it's just a, um, a dirt road that, you know, I just forget it. I'm just going to do it. Right, I've got it. Hmm, bit of a disappointment. Um, that road really fun, but he had roadworks all over it. Hello. 
Oh wow, that butterfly. Um, anyway, I was going to go down this road as a detour. Look at this. That was going to be my route. I'm going to be good and not risk it. As it says, it's closed. Aww. Bummer. I don't know why and what that means. And I'm sure the locals will tell me it's fine to go. Given that I'm here on my own, I'll give it a miss. Sensible Maya, I know, I know. You didn't think you'd see that, did you? Anyway, the good news is, carrying on, on that road, there are some bends and some fun to be had. I was surprised to see how green everything was. The roads were in really good condition and the bends weren't too demanding, not too technical, just lovely flowing. I enjoyed it very much. Only met a couple of cars and all of a sudden, round the corner, you find a little gem of a sight. A surprise! <laughs> I had to stop and found a gem of a sight. Look at all these post boxes behind me. How amazing are they? <laughs> Look at that. Tiny little place. I guess it's not even a village. And these are the post boxes they all come to collect their mail. Absolutely brilliant. I can't even see anybody. Hello, there's a fridge. Freaking brilliant. Look at that. Oh, a car. <laughs> These are so fantastic. I love it. After leaving the post boxes behind, I have found quite a few creative and innovative designs for them and was told that in Australia that's normal. Now I was dead set on riding some gravel. I didn't have enough time to go into the the red dirt in the middle of Australia, but I have found some nice tracks in the woods. found me some gravel roads <laughs> amazing <laughs> not too technical fairly easy going but first try of the um, tires and gravel and the forests are so dense and beautiful it was great There she is, just going to have a little stop by this river, look how beautiful it is. Oh, on this side even more. Oh, look at that, stunning. thinking what animals are here what am I going to disturb I want to go there but then I'm scared that some weird creature will come out and spook me and I'll end up in the bloody water I'm gonna do it anyway Fuck. There goes nothing.
I know what you're thinking, and yes, this is still Australia. I haven't mixed up my footage. Well, I think I scored big time with this one. Let me show you where I'm staying tonight. Yes, my jacket. I'm just doing this before. I'll make a mess with all my stuff. Look at this. Oh, it's amazing. All that for me. Queen Maya. <laughs> Because I'm staying in such a beautiful place, I decided I'm not going to grab a shower just yet. I'm going to the supermarket, buy a few treats. I'll come back and just chill on my own. I'm definitely sleeping with earplugs tonight though. I'm literally buying what I don't have to cook. It's going to be interesting. 